Welcome back to the Panthers.com video mailbag presented by Cinta. Max Sensen here answering your questions for the final time of the 2018 regular season. As Panthers get ready to travel to New Orleans for the season finale. First question this week, how bright is the future with our two young receivers, Moore and Samuel? Yeah, I mean, they're two of the biggest bright spots of what's been a very disappointing season for Carolina, obviously. Um, this losing streak uh, going into week 17 has been tough on everybody. But if you're looking for some positives right now, you have absolutely have to look at those two young wideouts. Um, DJ with his yard after catch ability, just so hard to bring down when the ball is in his hands. We've seen him make plays time and time again and clearly looks like a player in this league, the first round pick from this past year. And, and Curtis Samuel was a guy who was a second round pick a couple of years ago. And, you know, after the injuries as a rookie, people had some concerns about him. You know, was, was he going to be able to really to make it? Um, and he's overcome that injury and looked like every bit of the explosive player that fans were hoping to see when Carolina drafted him out of Ohio State. So much speed. And you can do a lot of things with that kind of speed. And we've seen North Turner get creative with him at various points throughout the year. So you've certainly got two very, very good pieces, two exciting pieces to build around that wide receiver room going forward. Next question, will CMC's carries be limited this week? You would certainly expect going into this game with it not meaning anything for Carolina or New Orleans for that matter, um, that Christian McCaffrey, Luke Keekley, guys like that may not play uh, very much at all. Um, I would expect to see Christian out there a little bit at least. Uh, he's a guy that's very tough to convince to that he's not going to not going to get out there and play. He wants to be out there and he wants to continue to add, of course, to what's been an incredible season for him individually. But as Ron Rivera has said all this week, they've got to be smart, they've got to be realistic, they want to see some young guys get out there and, and see what they have in them as well. So I would you know, not expect to see CMC out there for certainly what we've seen all throughout this season, which is every single snap of the game. I think the Panthers are going to be smart with this, uh, knowing that they want to head into the offseason uh, on a smart and a good note. Next question, favorite memory from this season? That's a good one. And obviously, as I mentioned, the way things have gone lately, I haven't provided too many good memories for Panther fans of late. But earlier in this season, I think, you know, you look at Graham Gano's game-winning kick, the 63-yarder against the Giants. Uh, just, you don't know if you'll ever see anything like that again. I mean, that was a truly spectacular moment. And that comeback in Philly, uh, I, I think if I had to choose one, it would be that comeback against the defending Super Bowl champs. Uh, in that game, Carolina looked so inept offensively in the first half, and then to turn it on the way they did in the second half and rally back for that win, uh, that was a truly special moment. That locker room was about as excited a visitor's locker room as I've ever seen, I've ever experienced. Uh, and so while, yes, there haven't been too many wins that have followed that, uh, that one will definitely stick with me for sure. And our last question, what are the Panthers' biggest off-season needs? Okay, yep, we're getting into that off-season mode now, and of course we're going to be asking and answering a lot of these questions as we go through the next few months. Right off the top of my head right now, I mean, I look at the line of scrimmage. I look at the offensive line, I look at the defensive line. You look at the players the Panthers are going to be losing at those two spots. Of course, Ryan Khalil announcing that he will be retiring at the end of this season, so you're losing the leader, the anchor of your O-line. And Carolina has some decisions to make uh, on that group. You know, we talked last week about Darrell Williams at right tackle and his contract situation. So we'll see what the Panthers decide to do there and of how they address that going forward. Protecting Cam Newton is always going to be a huge priority and with his shoulder situation and even more so right now. A defensive line, I mean, we don't know exactly what Julius Peppers is going to decide to do with his future. And just a pass rush in general, I feel like, needs a bit of youth and explosiveness injected into that group. The D-tackle spot right now as well. You know, KK and Don Tari Poe, Vernon Butler, you know, all those guys right now, that 2018 season for them hasn't really been at what was expected. Um, they certainly had to set the bar pretty high, didn't quite live up to it, I think. Panthers have to take a hard look at what their defensive line has got right now and, and how maybe they can improve things going forward. The other position I'll throw out there is safety. I think the Panthers have done a really good job addressing the cornerback spot. Dante Jackson was a great pick. I think he's going to prove to be a really good player in this league. James Bradbury has had an, a solid year overall. Safety spot, though. Eric Reed is not under contract after this season, and Mike Adams, of course, is at the end of his career. So how they address that safety spot will be a big thing to watch going forward as well. Thanks for the questions this year, everybody. Enjoyed it. We'll do it again next time in the offseason here on Panthers.com.